what's good youtube what's good it's your boy brian with menace mode detailing i hope that you guys enjoyed this video right here man i'm not gonna waste too much of your time i'm gonna jump right into it because i know that you don't have time to uh to waste so we're just gonna go ahead and jump right into it now this video is gonna be a little different i honestly wanted to make this like a professional youtube video like cut it up put numbers one two three like make it all flashy and all that stuff but i'm gonna just run straight off the dome and i really hope that you guys appreciate this style of video because it's gonna be the authentic look at that, i can't even speak the authentic i'm spanish so i can't even say the word but you know what i'm trying to say i can't even be uh authentic if i'm over here cutting and chopping up every second of the video so i'm gonna just keep it like this and try to not curse or you know stir it too much throughout the video so in this video you guys i'm gonna go ahead and teach you guys some of the stuff that i wish that i knew when i first started my car detailing business right now this is not going to be in any specific order this is just straight off the dome stuff that i'm just thinking about and then i really hope that um it can help you guys out in some way shape or form i'm gonna go ahead and jump into number one which i have is that the products that you buy are not all that important right when i first started my car detailing business and i thought that the products was the first thing that i needed to focus on i needed to make sure that i bought the best and most expensive product that was out there because that was going to give me the best result right well at least that's what i first thought when i first started so a piece of advice that i would give you guys is that truthfully products do not matter as much as you might think right sure it might be somewhat of a distinguish between maybe like a, a cheap five dollar degreaser and a ten dollar degreaser right but as long as you get the job done it really does not matter like you guys don't understand what i'm trying to say as long as you can get the job done it does not matter right i can literally go in there and detail a car with um not that i would do it or have done it but i can literally go inside the car right and make it look nice and clean with water and soap literally water and soap i can detail the interior i can wash the outside water and soap that's it like you don't you don't need as much stuff that you that you uh think or that you guys see on youtube and instagram and tiktok and all this stuff where you have people you know with five gallons of everything and you're like damn like i need to get that but no products are not that important you guys i promise you if you you know go down the line you know five years into your business the products are going to be the last thing that you're thinking about well not the last thing but that's like a one percent type of thing you're probably going to order some or restock reload whatever but you're not going to be always stressed and you know trying to focus on products right unless that's why you want to run your business but products to me are not all that important i know detailers that have a warehouse full of products and they're just sitting there and they still continue to use the same products that they were using when they first got started so we want to keep that in mind when you first start your business try not to over focus and over you know put too much stress on products when they're not all that important right so let's jump into tip number two tip number two is going to be setting the pricing and you know packages at a good price um not too low not too high this is very important right this is why you need to do market research and if you don't do market research you're going to be setting yourself up for failure if you set your price is way too high above the competition or way too low against the competition right so when i first started you guys we um for for reference now we charged 200 dollars for a small size vehicle for a basic inside and out detail right just for reference 200 dollars. now when i first started i was doing suvs trucks everything like that i was doing those types of vehicles for 80 dollars. so you can imagine how long i would take on these details three to four hours and i would only be charging 80 dollars. sometimes they would tip yes but most times they're not you're just getting the 80 dollars. you know what i'm saying plus you have to prove your point when you first start out so you can't come into into the detail game charging 200 like we are and you haven't gone through the steps you haven't gone through the motions you haven't gone through the failures you haven't gone through bad reviews you haven't gone through bad experiences you haven't gone through anything at all to be able to say oh i'm worth 200 dollars for this detail you might get them the results but to the market to the marketplace you don't have the videos you don't have the reviews you don't have the pictures you don't have the clients actually you know giving you testimonials and stuff like that you don't have everything that you need that's required to even charge that price yet so once you start off at that price you're already starting off at a disadvantage so if you guys want to learn from myself from my mistakes and stuff like that i would highly advise you stop charging what everybody else is charging once you first start because you're not going to be getting booked up i promise you like it, it's just that simple like if if you are 
shine and dine i don't even know if you're shine and dine and you have five star reviews and you have three reviews right and you're charging 200 dollars, right and then they come to mendez and mendez is charging 180 or 195 whatever it is let's just say we're charging the same price 200 i have 200 reviews now the reason why the customer is more likely to go with this one is because of the experience right because of the the amount of people that have said good things you know what i'm saying like they're like oh well this person has gone to 200 people and they're all saying five star reviews but i was there at that same number which you guys were probably at like three i was at three at one point right so the way that i was able to get from three to 20 or three to 10 was by charging cheaper charge cheaper and over deliver over exceed their expectations and i promise you it's going to be super easy to get five star reviews it's going to be super easy to then later on be able to raise prices once you get you know enough market um how do i say feedback and stuff like that because you need feedback from the market you need feedback from people which is basically the market the market is basically your like your clients right so once you get enough detail uh details under your belt now you can say okay now i feel like i'm worth this price because i know for a fact i can handle these details that are being thrown at me and i can you know give them a good customer experience uh during before after everything like that it all matters so make sure that you're not just charging just to charge make sure that you're adding some type of value and also make sure that you are some person of value before you start to raise your price okay so now i'm gonna go ahead and just give you guys one more tip and i'm gonna just end the video here because i feel like it, i don't want to make it too long so the last one that i want to give you guys is going to be to communicate with your clients outside of just you know outside of just work and just detailing right now when you do this if you take my advice keep it professional because i myself keep stuff professional i never try to involve anything that's like of me with my business i don't even allow or like when clients follow my personal page because i don't want them to think of me differently or see me in a different manner because it will happen where you're more personable on your instagram on your personal and your business is strictly business so it's kind of you know a little bit weird a little tricky but you got to make sure that you um can communicate with your clients outside of just you know the typical hey when do you need a detail now this is have you know this has worked for me as far as building relationships with the clients and also building trust right now the best way to easily communicate with your clients is through Instagram DM, right? So let's say they post a, a birthday picture or something like that. You can say happy birthday from the Mendez fam or something like that. Like little stuff like that goes a lot further than you might think, right? Especially with long-term, you know what I'm saying? Like relationships, long-term value, long-term relationships with these clients that, you know, you want to keep on your business because I hope that you don't plan on being in business for one to three years and bouncing you know feel me like this has to be a lifelong thing a longevity thing and the only way we can do that is by you know what i'm saying building relationships properly with our clients so i want you guys to go ahead and you know try to take on this advice that i'm giving you in the video listen to what i'm saying because i've been through some of the stuff that you might be struggling with and these things might not help you immediately but they will help you like later down the line when you, you know what i'm saying like just later on the line it, it'll just come back to you it's not immediate but you will see results from this stuff right so i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys like comment share and subscribe please let me know in the comment section down below what types of videos you would like to see i'm here to help you guys out let me know what i can do for you and without further ado let's go ahead and end the video mendez out let's go